Hey guys, how's it going? It's Kevin here, and I have the review for you guys of the iWow 3D adapter from SRS Labs. Before I begin, I'd like to thank SRS Labs for sending this out to me for review. They're a very kind company, guys. Go ahead and check them out. I'll be putting a link to their description in the below. Uh, I'll be putting a link to their website in the description below. So if you guys want to see what their company is all about, they are an audio specialist company, I guess you can call them. If you want to see the, the other types of products that they make and what they're all about, go ahead and check them out. SRSLabs.com. So the SRS Labs iWow 3D, is adapt 3D adapter is a pretty spectacular product, I will have to say. And though it looks small, it does offer a really big output. And even though it's small and it's relatively expensive for what I would, um, for what most people would consider spending on a product like this, then I guess I shouldn't say then, but even though it's small and it does cost a little bit more than your average accessory there is good justification behind its price and of course the small form factor so if you guys don't know what the iwow 3d adapter is it is basically a device that will change the way that you listen to music as this paper that they sent me says the immersive 3d audio ultra clear definition and deep rich bass will make you say wow after just one listen and this couldn't be true. The first time I listened to this, I decided to just listen to some liquid drum and bass track that I had on my iPod with this in and with some real, some decent headphones. And I was just blown away by how good this sound. Like I literally said out loud, holy crap, because it was that good. And as unprofessional as that sounds, that is truly an honest um, opinion and a uh, personal experience that I had with this product. So, obviously this sounds really good. What's so good about it? And I need to explain in more detail, obviously, so you guys know. This thing is basically supposed to enhance the quality output of your eye device. As you can tell from the 30 pin dock connector, this does work with anything that has a 30 pin dock connector and it will just work. Now, if you have an eye device that has access to the iTunes App Store, such as an iPod Touch, an iPhone, or an iPad, you have an extra advantage because SRS Labs has an app called, well, we can just look up SRS Labs iWow app, and then you will find their application in the App Store. So to start off, how you basically install this is that you take this and you plug it in, and then once the light actually turns on, which it will, there it is. After it turns on, then you are free to take your favorite pair of headphones and plug this into the pigtail at the end. And then from here, you can listen to your music with this SRS processing, and it just sounds awesome. And I keep saying it sounds awesome. I can't really demonstrate for you guys. I can't play this through a loudspeaker because even though you will hear a difference, it's still not, you know, I still can't accurately portray how good it sounds through my recording equipment. So what SRS Labs has done is that they have this thing on their website. If you go to their homepage, on the right side of the homepage, they will have a link that says Experience SRS Now or something like that. You want to click on that and then you can hear a song that they have and they will play it without SRS processing and then at a random time they will switch that processing on and you will truly hear the difference. And that is the same if you actually buy the SRS Labs iWow 3D adapter. It's the same thing as turning it on and off while you're listening to music. You will notice that enhanced rich audio that you pretty much should be hearing from the output of an iPod or iPhone or iPad in the first place. So that's that. You can go ahead and hear that as kind of a simulation or like a demonstration of how this actually sounds, which is pretty spectacular in my opinion. So the reason why it sounds so good is because it comes from the 30 pin dock connector. Things like your iHome also tap out of that and other docks. But the low power output and just the low quality output of the built in 3.5 millimeter audio ports in iPads, iPhones, and iPod touches and iPods in general generally aren't the best. They're kind of notorious for not having the best sound. Even Microsoft, the Zune HD sounds better, not to bash on Microsoft. but um, their products, well, at least from what I've heard, the Zune HD actually has better sound output than the iPod, which Apple being Apple um, doesn't surprise me, but, you know, kind of does in a way. So now I'm going to actually show you the app. You have, to have, you have to have the adapter actually installed for it to work. So if you want to switch over to the app here, you will see that you have the power to enable it. 
or disable it, which is the same as turning on or off the light by pushing it. You can push to activate physically, or you can just tap on the screen on that option. You also have the option to choose between what output source you want, if you want your headphones, if you want your speakers, or if you want your car audio uh, system. So I use your headphones, and then from here you can go into the advanced settings where you can turn on or off wide sound, or deep bass or high treble, you can adjust this to your liking. I will tell you that the surround sound is where the 3D-ness kind of comes from in the iWow 3D. Deep bass, this bass is pretty incredible. Um, I just had some normal pairs of um, earphones, put them in, turn on this deep bass and listen to a drum and bass song and it you can, it's very, very head shattering. Like you can feel the vibrations going through your head because it's just that intense. High trebles, most uh, headphones struggle in the treble range and the highs and mids. This kind of, take care of that, takes care of that a little bit. Again, it doesn't fix it completely, but it does enhance the sound of the trebles and the sounds of vocals and those types of sounds coming out of your device. So all in all, I would generally turn all these on, but if you turn all these off, but you still have the processing enabled, the iWow enabled off, I mean, if you have that on, excuse me, and you listen to some audio, it still will sound good. These are just additional things that I generally turn on when I listen to my music through the iWow 3D adapter. So that's that. You can It's pretty customizable, well, at least to an extent. You have the ability to change these three things and your um, iPod or iPhone or iPad EQ itself if you so want to do that route. But now, since the, I've gone over all the good things, I have to mention some of the things I don't particularly like. And these, I'm pretty sure, well, at least some of these are personal things. I'll start with the personal things first. First of all, let me go back to my music here. Actually, I need to do that first. If you notice, the volume bar disappears when you generally don't have something plugged in. And if you take the headphones and just plug them straight into the 3.5 millimeter audio jack, you will notice that the volume bar appears instantly, indicating that you can use the headphones. But if you have the iWow 3D adapter and you plug this in, watch how long it takes to for the volume bar to pop up. You have to wait for this to blink, you have to wait a few seconds, and you have to wait for this to turn on. And then the volume bar will turn on. And even though this might not be a big deal because you might plug this in and then fumble with your headphones to attach it into the pigtail, it still is a few seconds I could be listening to my music. So that delay or that little bit of lag is kind of annoying to me, but it may not be a problem to you. Also, I don't like this pigtail, mainly because I stick this in my pocket when I go to school, or at least when class starts I have to stop listening to my music. I just shove my iPod, my headphones, and this adapter into my pocket, and I don't like how this like just you know, moves around freely in my pocket. I kind of wish that even though this would be like a design like conundrum, I guess, is that the right word? I don't know, but it would be like, a, I guess a bad design to have this just out farther, but just have your headphones just be able to be inserted in there. I'd much rather have that than have a pigtail and have a, like a slightly smaller head, you know, because this is just kind of inconvenient, this pigtail here. But again, not too convenient. The sound output is still amazing and even though that's up to SRS Labs to change that or not, that is, uh, this product is still amazing. Don't get me wrong about that. Some of the things that I think will annoy uh, most of you people is that sometimes when you actually are playing music and you turn this off, like say you want to compare before and after the processing, what it sounds like, if you turn the processing off and the lights off and you're listening to a song and you press it, sometimes the audio pops a little bit. And it's quite—it's a quite noticeable pop too. It's not just like a—I guess you probably can hear that because I have a pop filter. But it makes a small pop, and sometimes the pop's even more um, present. You can hear it a lot, you know, clearer. And that's not something you want to hear in your music. But after a while of clicking, like in at least one like listening session, that popping will go away. But the first few times that you do it, you will hear a pop when you play. And I don't like that. And I'm pretty sure that's not just an issue with my unit. That's probably an issue across all the units that they actually sell. Something that doesn't affect me, but probably will affect most of you guys out there. This iWow 3D adapter does not support microphones or any type of other things that are built into your headphones. My headphones right here have the three basic connectors. You have your right, left, and ground uh, connection. But if you have ones that also have the microphone slash um, button for track controls or volume controls, that will not work with the iWow 3D. And 
that doesn't bother me now because I only have an iPod Touch first generation and that doesn't accept the microphones anyway. I don't have headphones like that. But in the future when I do actually get a fourth gen, at least supposedly, or an iPhone in the future, then that will probably become an annoyance to me. Also something that might annoy you guys, and actually this probably will, when you're on an iPhone, and you're using this and you want to make a call or you're receiving a call you must pull this adapter out before you can actually make a phone call it's written explicitly in the review um, the review packet they gave me it's also on their website I believe so those are pretty much the things that I don't like about it it just pops a little bit when you um, first activate it I guess it has this pigtail there's no mic compatibility and you have to remove it to make a phone call and of course it lags a little bit when you first plug it in now those things aren't really to be taken into consideration considering how good this sounds I'm not kidding and I guess I tried to shorten this review but it's already at 11 minutes and I just have to because it's that good and so all in all, I would definitely recommend it's so the price for some it may be steep it retails for $69.99 so $70 but it does retail for as low as $40 so I would definitely go grab it at that price I mean I wouldn't spend the 70 but I would definitely spend the 40 for this this audio quality is amazing there's also a deluxe version of the iWow 3D adapter it costs $10 more so $79.99 at $80 and you also get a pair of headphones from them and the iWow 3D adapter I don't know what they call it, but the deluxe version also has these interchangeable face plates. I mean, this one, the normal one just has the black, but you can change it to blue, green, pink, I think silver as well, and the uh, original black. So that's pretty much the review for the iWow 3D adapter from SRS Labs. I want to thank you guys for watching. This was a pretty long review, so I thanks, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this all the way through and getting to this point. If you feel, for, if, feel free, if you haven't already, to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.